Positive Vibrations Foundation. I'm the managing director. We're here at Funk Fest, and I have a very special guest, Miss Erica Falls. Welcome. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. You just finished an amazing, amazing set over there on the Jam Nola stage. Yeah, I did, and it was fantastic. The energy was electric. It was. Right? Yes. Been really good out here. Yes. Are you originally here from New Orleans? Yes, I am an original, born and raised New Orleans girl. I was born and raised right over in the Ninth Ward, not too far from here. And so I've walked these streets, for sure. <laughs> that's awesome, and here you are playing in front of all these people yes. in your hometown. Yes. Like, that doesn't get better than it that. It doesn't, this is the best. Right? What is a, like the first song that you can remember that you were like, yeah, that's it, I wanna do that? Listening to my mother sing in the house, playing the piano and I was like I want to sing but she was so great at it I shied away and I played the instruments I played piano and violin for a really long time up until high school and that's when I really got into sing but my mother was my first inspiration hearing her was like wow this is what I want to do what was your favorite song to hear her sing she sang a gospel song called he touched me and boy even as a kid I would get chills so that was my favorite song of hers did you ever try it no, <laughs> I let her take that one. <laughs> but All I did right. other things, you know, of course I'm a church kid, so yeah. I grew up singing gospel music, yes. Nice. <laughs> so growing up here in New Orleans, was there like music and arts in school? And, what, yes. and how important do you think that is now and in the future for the kids that are coming up? It is very important and it's much needed in the schools because it can work, music can help kids learn in so many different ways, not just in music, in other ways as well, and it's very important. I loved it, I looked forward to it. I mean, coming up in high school, I had the best music teachers, so from my home to church to school, I was always surrounded by people who taught me music, and I was a sponge, and I absorbed everything, and I still remember all of those things now that I use now. So it's something about music, it goes through life. You use those tools throughout life. So these kids need it, it's a great outlet. So it is very important and needed in the school systems. Yeah, yes. it seems to be a uh, running theme through when I ask the question that it's something about learning music and the arts and whether you're playing piano or an instrument or yes. singing that it also formulates you as a person. It does. And it gives you structure. It does. And that's and that's what we have to remember remember yes. and that's what we have to keep fighting for to keep this in the schools. One thing I always say in my shows about music it doesn't care what you look like, it doesn't care who you love, it doesn't care who you worship, because it touches the heartstring. It moves you here emotionally. So that's what I love about music. That's true. Yeah. That true. So I'm the baby of the bunch, and I come up on the house, and I heard everything from, like I said, Mahalia Jackson, Shirley Caesar, to the Sugar Hill Gang, to Roberta Flagg, to the Ohio Players, um, Shaka Khan, Anita Baker, Shalom, all of this stuff. Sarah Vaughn, my dad was a jazz head. So all of that is ingrained in me. And so when I'm writing or when I'm singing or when I am um, phrasing my music, I pull from all of those resources. And I still listen to all of those things today. So yeah, yeah it keeps me on my toes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what would you tell a young, you know, aspiring musician or artist that's coming up now? Like, what do you think is one of the number one important things um, for them to keep in mind? Study the greats. Be original. You never want to mimic. Beyonce has Beyonce covered, you know, uh, Madonna has Madonna covered, Janet, they, 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 they've got that avenue covered, but no one has you. So if you be yourself, be original, and be authentic, don't worry about being trendy. Right. Being authentic is key, and that's what people connect with. So that's what I always tell young people. There's no one like you. And study the grace, get the history, get the foundation. You know, that's very important, and then you build upon that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's some pretty great advice, and I want to thank you so much, thank and you. congratulations on a great performance. Thank you. And uh, if anybody, you know, knows, uh, Erica also has a side hustle called yeah. <laughs> Henny Sweets. <laughs> and what's that? I have bread pudding, cake batter, vanilla, uh, ice cream with a strawberry compote, and I make a ginger snap sandwich cookie 
with a marshmallow cream cheese filling. And all of these recipes and desserts are inspired by my dad. That's why it's Henny Sweets, the same as Henry. Oh, nice. Yeah, and these are my grandmother's recipes. I never met her. She passed before I was born, but he taught them to me. And so I'm carrying it on. That's awesome. Yes. So they can go online, find out where you're going to be popping up. Or yes. They can order online also. Well, I don't do orders online anymore because okay. I don't have the time to package. Right. But I'm at festivals and I do pop ups and I always post where I'm going to be. So next time you're at a festival, come see Erica sing. Yes. And then go meet her in the tent and buy some Hen E sweets. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much.